started against him. Mm-hmm. Good, good afternoon, listeners. I am Dr. Bishri Ramundayeko, working as consultant on cardiologist in Medical College Center. Today we are discussing about very pertinent topic uh, regarding heart, heart attacks, what are heart attacks, particularly in the present scenario of COVID, while the heart attack incidence has increased very dramatically. First of all, we will discuss what is, uh, discuss something regarding heart, first what heart it is. It is basically an important structure of the body and supplies oxygen blood to whole body. Heart has to pump at least 6 to 80 beats per minute to maintain this function. And in order to do this function, heart needs it is for its own self also oxygen blood supply, which is being carried by the arteries called as coronary arteries. So there are two coronary arteries which supply blood to heart, right coronary artery and the left coronary artery. They maintain the blood supply to entire heart for the whole period. Now, so far the heart disease is concerned. Uh, actually, heart disease account for 25% deaths in India. And uh, this is very important and pertinent because Compared to Western and uh, European uh, part of the world, uh, heart disease account for actually 23% deaths uh, before the age of uh, 70. Whereas well, this is almost twice, more than twice, that is about 52% deaths occur because of heart disease at, at this time. Now, what is heart attack? Heart attack means that when the blood supply, if in simple term we say that if, if the blood supply to heart is obstructed completely, that is called a heart attack. Now some people are very lucky enough that they present initially with ischemic angina. Angina means that they get warning signals that once they walk they develop chest pain, particularly in the arms and in the front of the chest. Where at that point in time if they are investigated, they will be benefited because by then the heart attack can be nicely preventive and they can be treated properly. Now when I say heart attack occurs, heart attack occurs means that this heart is completely obstructed and there is no blood flow to that area of the heart which is blocked by these uh, when the uh, that artery, the supply in that area is blocked. So uh, this occurs because, mainly this occurs because one is that there is already flat deposition in the arteries, arteries already become narrow and suddenly there is a break or a rupture of a plaque, that, that fatty plaque ruptures on top of it the blood vessels accumulate and or obstruct the artery completely. Now what are the risk factors for this heart attack? If we see risk factors, the most important risk factors are what are called as modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors. Modifiable risk factors are those risk factors where we can intervene and so that the patient is prevented from developing heart attack. Non-modifiable risk factors are those where we don't have much role to play. Like somebody has a family history of heart disease, we cannot change that. Somebody has a, suppose somebody is a, uh, male sex particularly, about the age of male sex age more than 60. These are non-modified risk factors. Now, somebody, uh, the major modified risk factors where we need to intervene and are number one high cholesterol, high cigarette smoking, blood pressure and poor diet and nutrition. Among all these uh, modified risk factors, cigarette smoking is the most dangerous and preventable cause of heart attack. And particularly in our part of the, uh, you know, India, where the people smoke very uh, aggressively, the chances of heart attack are very high and the people come with heart attacks very early. In essence of those people who don't have other risk factors like diabetes, hypertension, the only risk factor in our major day-to-day practice is heavy smoking. So we see many smokers who come with heart attacks very, at a very young age. Now, so far, how can we prevent, uh, you know, uh, of this heart attack now. As I said that first of all we need to maintain a very healthy lifestyle. To maintain life, healthy lifestyle is means we need to have a proper uh, healthy nutrition, high fiber diet, uh, high uh, I mean including vegetables and fruits and l- less of animal protein like red meat, less of uh, fats, uh, you know uh, important is that less of uh, animal protein is uh, red meat and uh, junk food which contains a lot of trans fatty acids and uh, particularly fried food all those things have to be avoided. Now if we see cholesterol basically what is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a very important constant of our body but the excess of cholesterol is, is an issue. 
the cholesterol basically cholesterol is basically manufactured by liver one second is some of it is most of it we take in the form of you know uh, like which you know they do for like meat cheese butter they contain a lot of cholesterol and now one is we accumulate more cholesterol than is required for the metabolic activities of body it accumulates in different organs of the body the arteries coronary arteries are the very important vessels where it starts accumulating and when uh, this cholesterol deposits is basically in the form of you know uh, waxy substance and starts accumulating on the vessel walls and when is we don't intervene or we don't stop it i mean from accumulating it starts blocking the arteries and uh, on this is go this is a vicious circle and goes on accumulating and come when the ultimate time comes the vessel gets complete blocked now in order to control this cholesterol number one we have to take number one do regular exercise that means 35 to 45 minutes a day and at least five days a week one second is we take a healthy diet which contains more of vegetables fruits legumes nuts and uh, less of you know uh, animal protein like butter cheese eggs and uh, at least rather than sitting on computers and laptops we should use whatever time we get using physical activity now uh, now if a person has uh, no do a major risk of just said modify risk factors major risk factors like smoking if we stop smoking a person becomes equal to a non smoker after one year so the major risk to heart is at least prevented number 2 is if a person has high cholesterol now initially we you, uh, you know try to use exercise and high fiber diet as a tool to control it if it doesn't get control done we take drugs now for cholesterol we take mainly statins number 1 and for if we are high because we basically live in a asian counterpart where the cholesterol tgs are more than the cholesterol and to control triglycerides the best way out is to give statins along with statins so combination of statins and uh, phenofibrates to be together given together to control both tg triglycerides as well as uh, cholesterol now again if we take other major risk factor we study is diabetes now for diabetes basically why diabetes is dangerous because diabetic patients have high chance of having ldl cholesterol ldl cholesterol basically we have two types of proteins we have a low dense lipid protein and a high lipid protein which you carry cholesterol ldl which is called low density lipid protein is called as bad cholesterol and in order to basically diabetic patients have very high levels of ldl cholesterol and this ldl cholesterol goes on accumulating on the vessel walls therefore we need to address more on ldl cholesterol so if a diabetic person number one is so first of all we need to control diabetes one is that we uh, lifestyle modification drugs if a person is not controlled we take drugs we take drugs so uh, drugs is basically statins and uh, sorry for diabetes we give mainly uh, anti diabetic drugs and along with this lipid lowering drugs to control ldl cholesterol so uh, for blood pressure obviously we need to control blood pressure uh, meticulously along with the control of diabetes for blood pressure again low salt intake our salt should be less than 5 grams a day one so exercise and drugs to control blood pressure now if a person has a history of a previous heart attack for him it's all the more important that he takes drugs like statins aspirin and blood pressure drugs regularly and he checks his blood pressure and cholesterol and sugar regularly if he is indulging was indulging in smoking he got to stop smoking so uh, to heart to heart attack it is it's important to ensure that we need to control cholesterol we need to control blood pressure we need to control blood sugar we need to be active in our physical activity we need to take a very healthy diet that means high protein high uh, vegetables and fruits and ensure that we uh, visit our concerned doctor on a regular basis so that we need to check our sh- sugar cholesterol and blood pressure regularly now we don't need to stop any of these drugs unless we consult our concerned physician or doctor who has been who has this medication 
Since this COVID uh, for lost money, we are suffering from COVID epidemic. It, this time is all the more important that we need to be more careful about heart issues because the patients with heart disease have more than six. Normally, in pa patients without heart disease or risk factors like diabetes, hypertension, or uh, high cholesterol, have almost two percent chance of death due to COVID. This becomes almost six percent patients who have these comorbidities. So, all the more we need to be careful during this time to control our hypertension and uh, we need to control our blood pressure, cholesterol uh, vigorously and uh, in order to ensure that we uh, prevent ourselves from uh, COVID infection, we avoid, uh, should avoid people who are sick, we should contact our contact with people who are sick, number one, at least keep two to three uh, meters distance from individuals who have suspicions or suspects, suspects or have possibility of COVID disease. Cover our mouth and nose when we sneeze or cough. Avoid touching the eyes and nose when we are touching somebody. Self-isolate in case of symptoms of fever, cough or chest infection. And stay home as much as possible. Don't visit unnecessary hospitals or clinics unless it is badly needed. And keep a bulk of drugs in the form of blood pressure drugs, di drugs for diabetes and cholesterol, so that we don't need to regularly, we don't need to go frequently to clinics or attend doctors. And if required, visit a hospital with appropriate precaution. And more, it was ideal that we should consult a doctor on phone because so that our unnecessary contacts. Thank you very much.